Hi Villa class, so this week we are going to be looking at column addition and subtraction but we're going to need to regroup and a lot of the lessons that I've got planned for you are through Oxford National Academy but I thought I would put my own video to go alongside them just to give you that extra explanation. So today we're looking at adding three digit numbers. Now I've got my number sentence just here, we've got 125 add 369. So the first thing I'm going to do is to make both of those numbers. So 120, my two tens, and my five ones, three, four, I need some more ones there, and five ones. And I'm going to add 369. So I'm going to need my 300s, my six tens, so I need to get some more tens, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we've got nine ones. Again, I'm going to need some extra ones. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I've made my two numbers. Now, what I would like you to do is to write your number into a column method. So here, I've got my 125, I've got my headers just above to help me, and I've got 369. So the first job, as we learned before half term, is to add the ones together. So five ones add six ones. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14 ones. Now I've got a bit of a problem because in my units column, I can only have one digit. I can't write the whole number 14 just below. So I'm going to need to do some regrouping. I'm going to need to swap a 10 of my ones for a 10. So I'm going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten and i'm going to swap it for my ten and i'm just going to put it in the corner there so now i've got one two three four i've still got 14 but i swapped 10 of my ones for a 10. so to show that i've got my four in the ones column and i put my one just below my equal sign now i'm going to need to remember to add that afterwards so now I'm going to add my tens. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and not forgetting my one here, nine. So six add two is eight, add my one underneath is nine. It's really important to remember to add that extra one. Now I can add my hundreds. So I've got one hundred, add three hundreds, one, two, three, four hundred all together. So my answer for that calculation is 494. Now I'm going to give a different calculation now. This time our calculation is 761. 761 and we are going to add 156 and we're going to use the same principle. So first of all we're going to make our numbers. I've got 761, so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, put them all back into the right column, there's my 700, I need my 6 tens, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I need to put them all together in my tens, and I need 1, 1. 761. Now I'm going to add my 156. So I need my 100, five tens, so one, two, three, four, five, and 
and six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so as always, I'm going to start by adding my ones. So I've got one, one, add six ones, will give me seven ones all together. That works, I can fit that in the space. Now I've got six tens, add five tens. So six add five is 11. I've got that problem again. I can't fit 11 in this one space. I can only fit one digit there. So I'm going to need to regroup. I'm going to borrow a hundred and exchange it for 10 tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And I've exchanged them for a hundred because six tens and five tens would make 11 tens all together. Now I know 10 tens is the same as a hundred. So I've got one 10 left in my 10 column and I put my 10 tens or my hundred into the hundred column. So now I can add my hundreds together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundreds plus my one that I regrouped. So that will give me nine hundreds all together. Have a go at the Oxford National Academy lesson. I hope that helped and let me know if you find this tricky and you need me to go through it in the drop-in session. Good luck with low class.